Hi, I'm Tina Turnbo. We're gonna do something that was popular on the fall runway. We're gonna show you this fresh kind of take on a red lip and a modern clumpy lash eye. We've already perfected the complexion. The products we're using for the lip actually are the Lipstick Queen. It's a invisible lip liner that you would use just on the outside of the lip line to hold in the color. So I'm gonna apply that first. And this actually helps to fill in any ridges or lines that you may have. And the next step would be using um, a, a lip liner in a, in a beautiful red. And with this particular look, given the doll sort of feel, it's really beautiful to enhance the, uh, the Cupid's bow. Starting in the outer corner and the lower lip. And I also prepped the lips with a uh, By Terry Rose balm. So after this, then I'm gonna apply the lipstick and I'm gonna actually blend in this line a bit. This is a, a beautiful color by Lipstick Queen. It's her silver screen series and it's called Have Paris. And it's a very bright, crisp, kind of poppy red. I'm do a little <laughs> lipstick brush. And then blend in all around the edges. It really gives the lip a nice kind of pouty, plump look. Next step to really kind of give this a modern look is clumping up the lashes. First, I'm going to curl them, and then I'm going to use the Kevin O'Quan Essential Mascara, which has this great ability to help clump them up take the tip of the wand, go back and forth. Now actually, instead of getting rid of the clump like we, we usually do, we have to relearn this technique and actually keep the clumps in there. So when you take it out of the tube, there's usually a bit on the end and you wanna use that bit to create the clumps. So you're gonna give it lift and clump. Now I, I try to hold the lid up slightly with my with my finger. We want to get the lower lash line really good too. So it creates that doll effect, that big wide eye. While the mascara is wet, you'll take your fingers and squeeze them together a bit. So you'll clump the lashes together in little sections. Don't be afraid to make a mess if, if you get mascara on your eyelid, wherever, you can always clean that off after. And while it's wet, you can squeeze sections together. Once it's dry, it'll flake right off. Everything is a bit focused into the center of the eye to help create that kind of roundness and wide-eyed, wide fanned-out doll eye. It gives a, cr a great sort of modern feel to this red lip. And in this case, it's nice to leave the eyebrows very uh, bare and natural, just brush them up so that the focus is really on the lashes. And that's it, that's your living doll.